Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the first time that I'm talking about League 1 in a video on this channel. Uh, League 1, I've said it in my posts and yes, uh, while I haven't made as many VA videos, there are community posts that come regularly out after every week where I give them my few thoughts on it. But A, I have not followed League 1 all that closely and B, whenever I see results and highlights, it's a really tough league to get a grip on. I have to honestly say, uh, because there's nothing you there's so many trends that you don't know. Are they persisting or is this just momentarily? Uh, who are the really good teams? Is Leon really that bad? All those storylines that at least from afar are really, really, really hard to gauge. Um, I want to pick three and I would like to start with the team that I'm wearing, which is Monaco, who under coach Adi Hütter are sitting top of the table having performed really, really well, outperformed the expectations quite some, uh, are like already five points ahead of the schedule, as you would expect them according to their expectation, playing some exciting stuff along the way. However, they had already two results in there where they were looking like they were going to win and then they had, uh, were packed back and just had a draw. So consistency might still be an issue with them, but they're definitely the positive surprise of the season. Uh, sticking with the big clubs, I mean, PSG, we had in the preseason already the huge story with Kylian Mbappé uh, being excluded from the squad, not even featuring on the first day of the season. However, the transfer window uh, kind of went in his way, you know, getting some good bodies in like Ousmane Dembélé and then uh, Colomuani. Although I wonder why did you need Colomiani when you anyway have Gonsalves already bought from Benfica. That was another one of those transfers that didn't look good. Uh, you got rid of Neymar. That's a big one who kind of went in semi-retirement. So I think from that perspective, Luis Enrique has at least something to work with and doesn't have as many headaches. How uh, PSG look everything but convincing. Yes, they had a great performance at Lyon. Uh, we know how bad Lyon are and then at the same time on the past weekend against a decent Nice side that did not look convincing like at all and then we are at Lyon the big dumpster fire that is uh, Lyon you know under new ownership uh, horrible results with Laurent Blanc not really wanting to be there but also not really wanting to resign uh, no one wants to get sacked because you know money is due his uh, place the squad doesn't look like anything uh, worthy of Lyon. I mean, the best thing about Lyon are the jerseys this season. And after they got trounced by uh, a PSG, of course, uh, the Ultra, the Capo, <laughs> gave them a dressing down in a way that uh, looked really, really scary. Uh, Laurent Blanc, meanwhile, is suck and now Fabio Grosso steps in. And I'm again wondering, where is this team going? Uh, honestly, the latest since the Corona break for me, Lyon are not a top team in France anymore. Yes, they have some good, good, good players and some exciting talent here, here and there, but it doesn't look like a top team anymore. They want to be a top team, but there is so much going on behind the scenes uh, that um, is not working well. And I don't have honestly too much insight. The only thing I can say for for sure that I'm not sure what the new ownership, US ownership texture wants to do with Lyon. Um, there has also been already some crowd violence as well, uh, especially in the Nantes OM clash where some uh, uh, OM fans living in Nantes got tickets close to the curva of um, Nantes and then got threatened because the boys started to celebrate uh, just some ugly scenes in there as well. So that comes in, in addition. It's uh, Ligue 1, I think, is at times its own worst enemy. Let's hope that after the next weekend we get an exciting classic uh, and that we talk positive headlines from Ligue 1 again. As with the other videos where I have not talked in, in a while, I quickly want to hit some highlights of the previous round before we briefly talk about the past round. Um, I mean, the season started uh, with Nice playing Lille to a 1-1 one -one draw. OM got an, a win against the Reims. So the Reims is actually doing quite well. PSG could not uh, break down Lorient. And then in a foreboding result, uh, Brest already 3-2 over Lask. Lask also not good at the moment. Whereas Brest is flying high. Uh, we had also a, a rematch of the Cup Cup final where Toulouse again beat Nantes. And Rennes is a team 
that I also don't get a grip because they started out brightly with a 5-1 over Mets. Then in round two, uh, I think the top top clash again was PSG's uh, uh, foray into Toulouse. A pretty good game that ended in a 1-1 draw. We had Monaco continuing the good start with a 3-0 over uh, Strasbourg. And then the first of the draws for, for Rennes, 1-1 against Lens. Metz, a credible 2-2 draw against Marseille. And Lyon being humiliated at home by Montpellier. Uh, that's probably the standard result of that weekend. Then in week three, PSG finally get a win against Lens. You know this was 1-2 from the last season. However, Lens, as we saw, results not good at all. Uh, Lyon at least get a point against Nice, although where did that come, come from? Marseille beat Brest and that was a good Brest team. Monaco actually got packed back uh, or saved, I, I think a salvaged a draw in the 3-3 at Nantes in probably one of the best games this season so far. And uh, then uh, just before the international break, again, uh, the Nantes-OM game with the scenes that I've described, Monaco rolling over Lens, so uh, Lens in trouble. Uh, but of course, a PSG's uh, destruction of OL, which was the main part there. Now, going back to the uh, past weekend, we had uh, PSG losing at home to uh, to Nice. You really thought that they had something going. You know, you have the best player in the, in the world. You have a good front line. However, uh, defensively, it's not good. And Mofi duly took PSG apart. Yes, there was a Mbappé equalizer after Mofi lead. But then uh, two goals by Laborde and Mofi uh, gets set um, Nice on a good path. I think it was an uh, Mbappé who else that late on pulled one of them back, but they couldn't find an equalizer. And there are more questions than answers. Ren, another draw, 2-2 two -two against Lille, but you know, at least those are two decent teams. Lorient also equalizes against Monaco. Lance losing at home to newly promoted Mets, a real mess of a result as well. And then on the bottom, I mean, I've been talking so much about the goals in Austria and Germany, not, not so much goals in France. OM only nil-nil against Toulouse and Lyon nil-nil against newly promoted Le Havre, but at least they got a point out of it again. And so currently, after five rounds, we have Monaco sitting atop, then Brest in second place. And that's a Brest team that lost in the first round, really, really, really big, uh, but have uh, picked up uh, three wins and a draw since. Uh, OM uh, have not lost this, as have Nice, but uh, they also didn't get that many, many wins, whereas PSG, um, you know, just lingering behind and still not looking quite right. I think Luis Enrique has his work cut out for him. Uh, if you look towards, towards the bottom, I mean, Toulouse did not have enjoy a, gr a great start as well. Uh, Rennes, four draws after the opening win. Uh, that should be a team that I always have to think that could do more flattering to 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 deceive. But we have of course Lyon and Lens on the bottom of the table. Those are two teams we did not expect there. And there's already a, a big jump. I mean, Nantes is uh, three points ahead of Lyon, only in 15th place. So it is still very level. I mean, there's no team that is clear um, a clear favorite for now, but it looks very interesting. If you look at the expected signs, of course, PSG are the big favorites, but Monaco already in second place ahead of OM, and I think Monaco will rise. Not Le Havre, Clermont, still the teams that are suspected to go, go down. Mets, after the good run that they had, for now, out of the releg expected relegation zone. I'm uh, also going to give you the matches for the upcoming weekend. We have actually quite a few interesting ones. Uh, Monaco against Nice. I think that could be a really, really interesting. Nice having quite a program. PSG away from home, Monaco away from home. Those are kind of the top two teams that we expect from uh, this season. Um, we have, of course, Le Classique between PSG and OM. That's... That is probably one to watch, and I probably will make an effort to watch that one because it's always a very dicey game. Although this time I don't feel there will be so much bad will in there. Although, you know, there's Lucas Hernandez who is an OM fan and not playing for PSG. And then for some weird reason, Lille against Reims has to be played on a Tuesday. I guess this has to do with the Rugby World Cup. I would assume, but you know, you can correct me below. In any case, please add anything that you have uh, that you know about League 1 that I didn't mention here. As I said, I tried to only touch a few points. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my software universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.